What's going on everybody? It's Wade with Swamp Donkey Archery. So I got a new product review for you today. It's one that I've been saying that I was going to do for probably about a year now and I've been dragging my feet on getting it done. Um, I just kind of wanted to take my time and uh, make sure I had everything right. I'm going to do the product review on all this scree gear that I have. Um, I'm going to go through uh, kind of all the pieces that I have and which ones are my favorite. So if y'all want to uh, see what that's about, y'all stick around. Okay, so before I get too deep into reviewing these products, I want to let you know that this, this type clothing, this is not designed to be a one and done type deal. You can't just get on there and say, okay, I'm going to buy the uh, hard scrabble pants and then this shirt and expect to be 100% satisfied. That's not how this is a clothing system. That's not how this was designed to be, not designed to be a one and done. Uh, these every single one of these things are designed to work with the other. Okay. Um, I've never been at really a layering type hunter. Uh, this was new for me to learn how to use this stuff. Uh, I've always been if it was super cold. Yep. I layered up. But if it was just normal hunting temps, you know, if it's going to be 50 degrees plus or minus 10, 15 degrees. I just, you know, had my default stuff. I went to my normal pair of pants, a shirt and jacket, and you know, it was about it. And then if I got hot, I got hot. If I got cold, then I just got cold. Uh, this stuff is designed to work as a whole system. So I just wanted to get into that before I started telling you about all this, because if you just think you're going to buy one thing and be done with it, you're going to be severely disappointed because uh, you can't just buy one or two articles of this clothing and accomplish what you want to accomplish. So, yeah. Now, let's get into these products. All right, one more thing I wanted to mention before I got into all the stuff. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I wanted to mention about their warranty. It's called VIP warranty. So, the biggest one of the biggest scares somebody gets whenever they want to spend $250 on a jacket, you're like, man, I don't want to spend 250 bucks and that thing not fit. Well, they have what they call a VIP warranty. Each piece of gear comes with a, like a return slip to where if you get it, it don't fit, it don't fit the way you like it, you can fill that little return slip out and you can send it back to them and they will pay for shipping back and forth until you get the size that you are satisfied with, the size that you want. So yeah, VIP shipping. Really, really good. That takes a lot of uh, a lot of stress off of you because when you're buying stuff like this, that's that's a lot of money. Uh, you can buy individual individual pieces, or you can buy as a uh, kind of like a package, a, uh, like a whitetail package, a turkey package, something like that. So if you get any of that in, and you can't, like I said, you don't like how one piece fits, you can pack that one piece up, send it back to them, say, hey, this one's small, I need the next size up, and they'll send it to you. So yeah, all right. That's through, through with all my prefacing. One more thing, if you had not already subbed to my channel, make sure you reach down there and hit that like and that sub button while you're down there. So yeah, let's get into this stuff. Here we go. All right, so this Scree uh, camo that I've been using, this will be my third year in using it. Um, very, very satisfied with it. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna tell you, kind of show you all the pieces that I have, uh, show you which ones are my favorite and uh, kind of what I like or any dislikes about them. Uh, but I want to preface this going into this video by saying I've always been one of those guys using the inexpensive camo, and I promise you there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I kill many and many animals. I just wanted to kind of step my game up a little bit, start trying to use some of this good high quality camo. I've been trying to improve all my gear over the years. Uh, has it helped me kill bigger bucks? No, not yet. But uh, is this a real good quality camo? Yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> getting into that, let me get into kind of what we got going on here. So first I'm gonna tell you what my five favorite pieces are, and then I'm gonna go through kind of uh, all the pieces that I have, okay? So my number one absolute must have go-to 
is going to be the uh, hard scrabble pants. These are, without a doubt, the best hunting pants that I've ever wore in my life. Okay, uh, the hard scrabble material. I'm not for sure exactly what they call this, but it's a it's a good uh, kind of rugged material on the on the back. See, I wrote down. They call it MTN X2 fabric. Whatever that means, I don't know. But I tell y'all, some bad stuff right here. I've walked through some pretty good bit of briars and stuff in these pants, and they don't snag. They don't tear real bad. Now, of course, if you snag a big saw briar or something like that, yeah, it's probably going to tear it. But just your normal walking through brush and everything, uh, great, great material. So I just wanted to go into that's hard scrabble material. So there's vests and jackets and stuff they make out of it. Just want to tell you a little bit about the material itself. Okay, so these pants, they are lined with like micro fleece on the inside. They've got this little rubber, uh, kind of rubber band that goes around the inside that helps uh, keep your shirts tucked in. So when you, when you raise up to take that shot, it don't pull your shirt out. And plus, it helps, uh, helps keep any wind from blowing up under that shirt as well. Uh, if you're a guy like me who likes pockets, these things have gobs of pockets on them. It's got your two normal up front pockets. It's got uh, these little uh, pockets right here, kind of like sit on the front of your. Let me get back. Sit on the front of your thigh right here. Uh, really good, really good high quality pockets as far as. Uh, I mean, I've had these pants since pretty good binds, and I ain't, I ain't tore nothing out of them yet. Uh, zippers on all the pockets. These are some really good zippers. Like I said, everything about this is just high quality stuff. Another thing I like about these is it has a little side vent right here on the side. Runs down the side of your thigh right here where you can open it up when you're walking in. Keep from, keep you from breaking quite a sweat walking in and all that. Uh, I'm going to try to hurry through these because I don't want to uh, this video to take too long. But these are not really friendly when it comes to summertime hunting down here in uh, Louisiana. Uh, if it's over about 75, 80 degrees, these get kind of warm. But you can unzip the side, and they are tolerable. You can use this as a, as a year-round pants. It's just a little bit on the warm side when it's 80, 90, 100 degrees down here, guys. But I'm telling you, absolutely the best hunting pants that I've ever used. Um, my next definite go-to is this um, Kaibab 150 Merino Wool. Uh, I'd never heard of Merino Wool, nor knew about how good Merino Wool was and all of its different properties. Uh, it is a very good moisture uh, wicking. It will absorb, I want to say, 30% of its weight away and i've personally wore this shirt many a times walking in when it was uh pretty warm breaking sweat and it's just pulled the pulled the sweat right off uh it actually felt kind of weird because you could reach down and feel your shirt shirt felt a little damp on the outside but your skin was nice and dry um like i said this isn't a very thick shirt matter of fact you can probably see through it uh this is the 150 they do make this one in the uh 300 kaibab as well um, that would be a very good uh, base layer uh, for when it started getting a little bit cooler but like i say in louisiana we're hunting the warm almost way more than we do in the cool so 150 merino quarter zip really really like this shirt the next absolute must have for me i've always been a guy that don't like bests I just don't like vests. Never have. If I was going to put something on like a jacket, may as well have sleeves. Until I bought the hard scrabble vest. Okay. Number one, this is a really good fitting vest as well. So I am going to go ahead and put this one on. And uh, this is like my go to whenever it's uh, kind of like late fall and it's be kind of kind of cool in the mornings you're looking at 40 degrees or something like that not quite enough for a heavy jacket man you can put this on coupled with this this merino shirt and uh maybe like uh just some other kind of shirt over the top of it 
this is this is very 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 good jacket like i said hard scrabble material awesome we've got dual zippers on the chest we've got the two right here all the zippers seal up uh, it's kind of a, a more of a form fitting vest um i will say these sizes run i'm not going to say on the small side but uh if you're man i don't know if i'm a large or extra large get an extra large type deal so absolutely awesome piece of gear love it um it does have this one does have several uh zipper pockets on the inside as well this is the hard scrabble outside the uh micro fleece inside absolutely awesome piece of gear my next one is the hard scrabble jacket by far my favorite full jacket that i've ever owned as far as hunting gear this hard scrabble material works really good in some light rain uh i did wear it last year when it was raining just a good slow soaking rain and as long as it's not just pouring it's enough that it will keep you dry for several hours you know slowly it'll start seeping through this material but it really really impressed me i figured i was going to get soaked i had this on and uh didn't get soaked so like i said hard scrabble jacket it's got the two zippers up here got the uh side pockets here you can zip it up as well this one does have some zippers under here where you can open up and get you a little bit of vent going under your arms for when you're walking in or if you just sit trying to get situated in your stand you're just building up a little bit of heat it's got a good hood on it as well it does have a little bit of structure to it right here uh, the hood sits pretty good to where you can turn your head and it not totally blind you you can see back behind you pretty good it's quiet as well um really good stuff really good jacket that is my number four now let's see i'm looking at my little list down here sorry i got a lot of stuff that i like the neck gator this is my number five pick right here neck gator I do have one of the uh, Summit camos, and this one I can't find it, so this is the one that I found. These are really good. You can wear them all kind of different ways. I usually wear mine like this when I get in the stand, kind of break up my face. I don't like a whole lot of whole lot of face paint, so I'll usually do this a little bit of face paint right here. It's just really good. This is made out of the. Uh, 170 spun merino so this is moisture ricking as well this isn't really warm if you want to use it for a uh for cold weather this ain't going to knock a whole lot off of you but it it does knock a little bit of the wind it ain't bad so you can wear it all kind of different ways put it just around your neck keep the wind from blowing down your collar just pull it like this whatever like i said this is just how i like to wear it really good piece of gear there as well uh, my last one is going to be my bonus. That was five. My bonus, throwing one more in there, is going to be the uh, Lost Peak jacket. This is another really good option for those mornings that it's uh, not quite really cold, but you just don't want to catch a chill. This is this has a different uh, different type of micro fleece on the inside. It's a fairly thin jacket uh, you might be able to see through it a little bit there try to see if you can um this this don't work really good for a windbreaker because it's made to be made to be thin um works really good for like i said on those kind of so-so mornings it's good to throw on it's thin it's light it packs up easy once you get up there sun starts coming up I mean, you just take this thing all folded up in a ball about that big and put it in your backpack. Um, just like on the rest of your stuffs, real high quality zippers. Um, it's only got the one one chest pocket right here. Not a whole lot of room in this one. Can't put a whole lot in there. Um, it's got some nice pockets here on the front. Uh, I don't think it's got any on the inside. No. But this is a really good early season as well like i said i usually wear this coupled with my hard scrabble jacket if it's you know 40 degrees or so and it does 
does really, really good. So that is my top five plus one, uh, my favorite gear. I'm gonna go through the rest of what I got and uh, kind of go from there. So my next piece is gonna be this uh, Wasatch uh, Crew. Um, this isn't this isn't a merino shirt. This isn't made to uh, pull moisture away from you and everything. Uh, it does it does pretty good. It'll pull it a little bit. Uh, this is uh, more of a uh, cooler weather shirt. I want to say I've wore this, you know, under my hard scrabble vest or, um, like I said, this in my jacket. It uh, it does it does really good. It's not necessarily one of my favorite pieces, but I wear this one a lot because it's, eh, it's just a little too cold for me to do just the merino, but I don't want to do a few jackets, so we're just going to do this. Uh, this uh, shirt's got kind of a uh, kind of a silky finish to it. Um, you can't just go to running through a bunch of briars and stuff with this shirt on because it will snag. Um, like I said, uh, just really good shirt. It's got kind of like some some real thin fleece on the inside so it's a pretty warm shirt it's definitely not a warm weather shirt this is more of a uh, early winter type uh, good mid base layer this works as a good mid base layer and let's see my last big piece of gear I got I'm gonna show you oh hey y'all guess what I told you that I couldn't find my uh, my neck gator, my green neck gator. Guess what? I just I just found my green neck gator. See, told y'all I had one. All right, that was totally unplanned, by the way. So these are my go-to uh, early season bow hunting pants. These are the, uh, believe the you pr pronounce it Uinta uh, early season pants. These are really really thin pants. Uh, I use these in early turkey season. Early tur we only got one turkey season here, so I use these during turkey season. And I use them during early uh, early deer season. Um, these are basically uh, set up like the hard scrabble. They're just not hard scrabble material. This is still fairly rugged on the inside, the outside, or on the outside. Um, this feels more like a uh, a good high quality pair of slacks as far as what the material feels like on the outside. Um, it's not lined with anything on the inside. Like I said, we're trying to keep it cool on these. Uh, it does have. The bunch of pockets on it. It's got your two normal pockets. It's got the hip pockets right here. Uh, your two back pocket zippers on it, and it does have the uh, little opened up vent on the side. Uh, it's got a little bit of extra reinforcement on the knees, uh, kind of double layer on the knees, stuff like that. Um, does have the little rubber band right here. I like this little rubber band on the inside. It does really good. Also keeps them from falling down on them long walks. If you if you ain't got no backside and you have a hard time holding your pants up, uh, this does good. It holds them, holds them in place. And speaking of no backside, they do have a belt. This is called the Timber Hitch Belt. Um, is this an absolutely uh, necessary piece of gear? No, but I did like the idea of this belt not uh, being like the leather belts I have that have dictated holes where you need them. This, you can cinch it up to exactly where you need it. Um, could use it as a tourniquet, worst case scenario. Uh, use it as some type of strap, packing strap. There's lots of stuff that you can do with this belt. Good high quality nylon. Um, it is stiff enough to be a little stiff, but uh, it's not so stiff that you can't get it to bend through your belt loops and it fit you know, uncomfortably. Like this belt, I use it all the time. Their gloves, this is the, which one are these? The Velocity gloves, I wanna say they call them. This is a thinner pair of Merino gloves. Um, they fit, fit pretty snug. They do have the little uh, pieces on them here to where you can uh, unlock your phone, scroll around on your phone and stuff. Shouldn't be on your phone when you're hunting anyway, but we're all guilty of it, so uh, yeah. <laughs> it's got the little grippies on it nice grippy stuff uh, I've wore these several times I don't like wearing gloves in the early season just cause it's it just gets that much hotter but I've wore these several times really nice gloves but they're not made to keep your hands really warm so once you get 30s or so these uh, really not worth anything uh, their socks I do have their socks as well this is the Scree 
merino sock. Probably, this is probably going to have some dog hair and stuff on. I'm sorry, that's I use my stuff. So this is the Scree merino socks. Um, I've never put a whole lot of thought into socks. Just socks are socks to me. If it's really cold, I put two layers on. You know, that's just I've never put put any thought into it till I got these. My feet are bad about sweating. Um, whenever I get hot, walking in, it's really cold. My feet get hot walking in. They sweat. I get up on the stand. Now it starts cooling off. My feet start getting cold. I did not have that problem with these with the merino wool. Like I said, it kind of pulls the moisture away. These are these are definitely worth the purchase here. I should have put these on my uh, on my uh, favorite list. Their hat. This is their. Uh, I think they just call it discreet patch hat or something like that. This is not a Richardson brand hat, but you guys that like the Richardson like 112s, that's what these are. Nice structured. They fit really nice. Um, just a good quality hat. They make several other hats and stuff. This is one I picked. I like the way it looks. I like the way it fits. It's the one I go with. So, yeah. I um, think that's all my gear. We went through the gloves, the socks. The lightweight jacket, the lightweight pants, uh, the Wasatch shirt, hard scrabble vest, hard scrabble jacket, hard scrabble pants, and the merino shirt. I believe that's it. There's only a couple more things I'm wanting to pick up. I'm going to get the merino bottoms in the 350. I haven't got that yet. Those will be ordered here soon. And, uh, their ptarmigan jacket. Their ptarmigan jacket is definitely an awesome jacket. It is a uh, kind of uh, down stuffed jacket, 100% water or uh, windproof and all that. Really, really good jacket. Packs up in a little ball about this big. So good stuff. Uh, hope y'all got what you needed out of that. I kind of rushed through it, but I'm trying to keep this video from being too terribly long. Uh, if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments down there. I'm going to leave the link to uh, Scree in the descriptions below. Very good stuff. Um, just really can't can't say too much about them. They are a very good company, very good products. So that being said, y'all uh, check out all my social media platforms. If you hadn't already done it, like and sub to my channel. SwampDonkeyArchery.com is my website. SwampDonkeyArchery on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll catch y'all on the next one.